Let us open our Bibles in the book of First Peter chapter 1 verse 23. And, and Matthew chapter 13 verse 31 to 32. First Peter chapter 1 verse 23. Seni zelwe gabusha Ungembe u epelayo Godwa nenga pelio Nezwi eli pilileo Neli mio ligangulungul And Matthew thirteen thirty one verse thirty two Matthew thirteen thirty one verse thirty two verse thirty two Omunye umfanegiso waubega gubo wati. Umbuso wezulu ufana nentlamvu. Yesina pi aitata umuntu wa ishwanyela ensimini yake. Yonagambe inginyane guna zozonke izimbeu. Kepa uma isikulile inkulu. Kunezilimo iba ngumuti. Kuze gufigi zinyon ze zulu. Zakele ema kacheni au Sikule gele sisi Baba wetu lea pila lina manja Linguwe ukobolo wako izu lako Baba na mshanje mini Sita mele ugulizo Kulungulu weto na manja onke Kuluma ngati gube ngatu ya kala Ukulume ngati gube ngatu ya kina Eka mene li shele nko setu Jesu Christu Baba wetu ungungulu ngule simtanda yone simkonza yo Baba, bless us in pursuit of knowing you more and more. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The first book we've read in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 23. Chapter 1 verse 23. It says, having been born again, not of corruptible seed. The spiritual life of a Christian is imparted or planted to us by the Holy Spirit in a form of a seed. When you are a child of God, there's a seed that was planted in your life so that you may grow and that seed is not corruptible and that seed we received it in our lives by the word of the Lord that is why the word of God is important to us as the children of God we live by the word we read the word we eat the word it makes us to grow the word of God is like water to us if there is no word of God then something will be missing in us but because of the word it makes this incorruptible seed that is planted in us to grow and that is why after we received the word of God we cannot preach 
We can't stand in front of people. But as we read and eat the word every time, we grow and we grow and we grow. And we become amazed. We are now able to stand in front of the church and impart this word to others. Now, Today, I want to talk about the seedless fruit. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, as I said, Mrs. Tembega was talking about the seed that grows. And she made an example of different seeds. But that planted something also in my spirit that there are seeds that are, or there are fruits that are seedless. And I always say one of the greatest inventions that man has made in history is to create fruits that are seedless. Do we know seeds, fruits that are seedless? Have you eaten fruits that are seedless? Have you eaten a watermelon with no seeds? Have you eaten ama grapes? Anganama seeds? And that's one of the most intelligent development, if I may call it that, in history, that mankind has all also done to create something that is palatable, that is nice, but is, 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 is seedless inside it. Now, I, I had to look and check what is this seedless fruit? And what I found out about this seedless fruit It's the fruit that is developed but does not have any seed in it Yeah, simple as that I said a seedless fruit is a fruit developed to possess no mature seed in it yeah. In, in other words, this fruit is fully developed. When you look at it, it looks like any other fruits. But when you open it inside, it has no seeds. And it's even easier to eat a fruitless fruit. A seedless fruit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eating a fruitless fruit, eh? a seedless fruit, it's, it's easy, Bazaran. When you eat a harp, for example, a watermelon with no seed, all you do is just to eat, eat, eat. But uh, when, when we were growing up, we used to eat a watermelon, equal amount seeds. Before you even eat it, you need to just take all of each and every seed, then you eat it. So a fruitless fruit is easy to eat. And it's very convenient to eat it. Doesn't matter where you are, you just eat it. You don't need to be in stress. I need somewhere to throw these seeds away. Yeah. And they are nice. I've, I've eaten them. They sell these seedless grapes. Well, I guess everywhere now they sell these seedless grapes. I don't want any other grapes in my house except I want to miss when they buy these other grapes. A seedless grape is nice. It's convenient. And it's good. Then, then I said here, most commercially produced seedless fruits have been developed from plants whose fruits normally contain numerous relatively large hard seeds distributed throughout the flesh of the fruit. Did I, yeah. In other words, mm. this seedless fruit was not just created outside from nowhere. 
It was made from a fruit that has seed. Yeah. In other words, when they were made, this fruit, this, this seedless fruit. The, 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 the farmer, yeah, the, fra, um, the farmer, um, he, he manipulated the process. I don't know how to define it better. He manipulated the process of growing that seed. He didn't just go in a lab and create that seed. No, no, no. In other words, he took a fruit that has a seed and he took seeds that are hard and strong of a watermelon. Then he created this fruit that is seedless. But he created this fruit from the fruit that has seeds. Yeah. 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 So this fruit is still the same as the seeded fruit. It has the same nutrients. It has everything you need from it. Because it comes from a seeded fruit. Put it even nicer. It's even nicer when you look at it. It's even nicer. Because it's been manipulated. Because they've been manipulated. Watermelon yakon. We are born with this one has been dealt with accordingly because it's been manipulated. You take a seedless fruit, you take a seeded fruit, you taste them together. Sometimes you won't even hear the difference. Sometimes it's even nicer than the hardcore real stuff. That has been through things. So in other words, they can be both nutritionists. Can be both nutritionists. And yes, they may both have the same health benefits in your body. I've never, I've tried to research in my little time that I had. I've never seen anywhere where they said seedless fruits have no health benefits. They do have. Because seedless as they are, they come from the seeded fruits. So they have the same characteristics Footies. of the nutrients. But the challenge is, can a seedless fruit reproduce? The same. They can taste the same. They can look the same. They may have the same nutrients. But this other one cannot reproduce itself. Now the answer is no. A seedless fruit cannot reproduce. You cannot replant or you cannot plant a seedless fruit. Because for a fruit to be planted, it needs a seed. That is why the word of God says, we have been born again from an incorruptible seed. In other words, this seed, when it comes to us, we've kept the characteristics of Christ Jesus in us. And when we have those characteristics in us, we also need to reproduce ourselves. I've seen it in my house. I've seen it in my house. Eat tomato, eat tomato, the seeded tomato. Eat it, just throw it in the Food, you don't even think you are planting it. You are just throwing it in the garden. Few years or months down the line, the seeds have power to reproduce. The problem with the seedless fruit, they do not okay in nature. 
There are not by nature. They are manipulated by men to be what they are. They cannot reproduce. Okay, I love them. They are nice. I love them. I'm not <laughs> I did say I love them. I eat them. They taste very good. Mm. But a seedless Christian is a no, 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 no. When you are a Christian and you say you are born again, you are a big no, 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 no. But when you are a Christian that even has a seed as little as a mustard seed, even when they throw you into any field but as little as a mustard seed. You reproduce yourself. And what comes comes from you, no matter how small you can be, Mm. you create giant trees as a mustard seed. So seedlessness is a state that is not acceptable to any believer. When you are a Christian, no matter how palatable you can be, no matter how great you can be, no matter how gifted you can be, no matter but when you cannot reproduce, that's not acceptable. Which seed that is incorruptible that has born you again? That cannot reproduce itself in you. Which is that seed? The only answer I have in you is that you've been manipulated by the devil. So cannot reproduce. We are food. We are good. But you cannot reproduce. There's someone who manipulated you in the process. Reproduction is a character of life. Anything that has life reproduces itself. Tell me anything that has life that cannot reproduce. Except a seedless fruit. Tell me anything that has life that cannot reproduce. I said here, yeah, animals can reproduce. So, even the plants, they reproduce. And they reproduce of themselves. And when you plant that seed, harvest time is inevitable. There's no way you can plant a seed and you never have any harvest. Those who are farmers, they know. When you plant them, then you do all the necessary things that Tembega was talking about, the water, the, you talk about oxygen and the light and everything. I, I once even spoke about the phototro- phototrophism movement in Yakumbur, in Fundis. Uh, not photosynthesis. Ah, Nina 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 Fundi. You must stand at nine. Where's the pilot? Stand at nine. So petty photosynthesis. I mean, petty part. As a kulumi pilot, you stand at nine. Tell us. Says kuluma importani. Kulumi portani, man. Phototropism. How peguma mwaga kuvala me stay lo baba lo azo ang poka. 
Hallelujah. I've spoken about phototropism movement here. And I said phototropism movement is when a plant grows and it depends which direction it bends to. If the sun comes from this side, it bends. They call that in botany, not by ISM value. Botany. (laughs) When it grows, it bends towards and that is phototropism. If it bends against his aunt, and food because this thing has a seed it either comes out corruptible or incorruptible called but the seed is there. But a seedless person. But it's a corruptible seed. This one is an incorruptible seed. But a, a seedless fruit. When you are a Christian, there must be harvest time through your Christian life. There must be. Because even in the word of God, I have written here, the ability to multiply is called to our call and commission as Christians. That is why when we are born again, we are left here. We are not raptured. We are not taken to heaven. We are left here because the Lord gave us the great commission that says, go and make disciples. A Christian must go and reproduce of its kind. You know why? Because the Bible in the book of John chapter 15 verse 16 says, we did not choose him. He chose us. He appointed us. You know why? He appointed us to go and bear fruits. Fruit. I'm twenty as a Christian. Um, Christ to hear, but we're And you so when are you fruitless, Ganjan? Manje we nage auteli guza ganjan. Unameteli kachin. Asiko is lasa esi keeper am a fruitless fruit. I'm a seedless. Yeah. Asiko is lasa esi tela am a seedless fruit. There is no tree that bears seedless fruits. I'm a seedless fruit who goes a corn. I watch along and naturally from God. I manipulate way who goes a Imbeu and is telling us that imbeu as he can do anga ngunkulunku. Ochala i fruitless fruit. Aga i chali no maxenge no magup. We chala in a well protected. Koe ba visa na mashelta we ni ma farmer. 
You cannot take a fruitless fruit. We manipulate it. We show me no magu. Bizo fa. We be funu nagegelo all the way. Is it pumi fruit ya corner besut? No sister. God a asnambe. Agwenze kuguti gu is telo esne nambe ubesu ya status flanela guindalo gumele usnagegele ngenzela ne ne miso zomuntu. Zonke telo even the seeded ones you still need to take care of them. Asal, you still need to, but the seeded fruit and the pure. We don't mind the young kinto. We can analyze chalo. Can you buy a visa? Namaji GMO, genetically modified plants, GMO plants. Yeah, fruits. Uh, uh, those ones are even more dangerous because they are not true things. They are genetically modified. Angazi ya go tiktu an. Marsen shuma eleni into man. Just genetically modified. It's things that. As if those ones, I know for a fact that very few countries allow genetically modified food because those things as Jalwanga, Zikandwe Elep, Zabegwa Elep, Ukona Bazalwane, Esbakande Malep. City Tina Samba Nabugandi, they are genetically modified. Mobabuga Bafananat, got a Bab Tag. Yeah. Bab Tag. Yeah. Tungchele imbeu ishashe sinembeu no manga bushala gupi no mas tolinga te unchaba tonjan se kamu kusvers. Even the parable of a sower, as kisnya kshia ganja ni kote hamba na munga sas. Even the parable of a sower, the Bible says he scattered them, but because they were seeded, it it does. Yabona ngabe bega scattera ama seedless. But the seeded ones, it is ayamila. Imbe wina man. Imbe wina man. Imbe wina man lo kuma nge nga yoguti umisangana nendalo ya kuma. That is why abanye no ma vanga sale parade. Maka fulumlo masumu zo utlog nembe u. Inkinga nji okoni nji awele gyo nag nembe u. Wena uke parade kota siyezo guta ona mbe u. Kona banta ba sele pare ni mababa wili nko sin kote uzo kuti mbewi kona noma fulumlo muzuti ai inkinga zomshaba kote mbewi kona kono mundo ngeke pare ni esamba na kote uzo kuti mbewa yiko na na sekshaga zege ni iaku mbewi na sekshaga zege ya kona ba sekshaga zege zila whatever situation of life eksaga zee kote mbewi yaku Whatever you are going through in your personal life, in be we are come. Who do you sole into an ezinja? Ni agukshi. Good in be we come. In a man in be. In a man in be. Even though scattered, yet the seed grows. In the end, in be we come. Good is na matele kache. Asana ndabag. Mamel is tell as Nanda about his child whip. Is such a snake king of this child whip. Namaru to us, Menanja, I'm a fruit. Whatever that the tree gives me as nutrients, I produce. Nan, I have got his slash as Sislanelu, a foot to Sislanelega. Umbega tume, I produce. Umbega deep slot, I produce. Umbega ten vista, I produce. I don't care, I'm a fruit. Namatelange is such in me. Amanlo tell us a ten is such a less simile. The fruit is a young judge. Ubushaba, I see fruit is such as Puma was. Oh, hallelujah. Where Tina's no me fruit, can Miller's no me the manipulator or the tree? Yeah, well, let's tell us Puma. Abide in me. It is he who abides in me, and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you cannot do anything, nothing. O shala gimi na mingi shale guye uyagutelite longo gupanga pande guami ningenze luto. Ngapande gua this inco 
incorruptible seed. That when we were born again, we received it. No matter how palatable you can be, you cannot bear fruits. Unabazalwane, abashayegi ilenzeleni yokolwa. Kotoa isn't abai kipa i tell abai kipa yo. Zia progress ab. Angas no mani angizo. Ubo ne gutlom zalani yo washayega. Kotoa i tell o yena es pumagu ye. Zina manja. In other words, when you have, <laughs> when you have a seeded fruit. No man had in our joy, even a boom, Ibole. I will lash, we are each other food. Is no mum salon and a shayak. Got a umma unembe part again. Yes, lend them a punching, a bugging at Isaac. Got a nusa was reproduced. Okay, me and Impilo saying shay. Got a hands of a keep and you keep a dynamite. Because the seed is incorruptible, you can still sow it again. Thank you, Jesus. Little Pipe Lamb, you will know them by their fruits. Matthew 7 18. Matthew 7, verse 18. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. In the Bible, it says, "Tum chelin ten zagala." In this good tree, kule sisla chesi she. Agu puma ma fruit amadi, wonka ma fruit apuma umashe amoshwa i enva comment i nyoni. In the very same tree, kuna manya ma penchi samnand. In the very same tree, kuna manya ma penchi se singa sawali ngoba sawa ne ibu. Ishashe skipi ibu ka. Ibu muzvezwa. Whatever, whatever environment it may be, but not the tree. Pastor, you are a good tree. You can oh, never bear bad fruits. Hallelujah. Your tree and the fruits that the seed that you have. We've seen it in these young people. We've seen it. I was going to sit there and cry tears of glory and saying, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, the fruits that come from me. Generation to generation. Eba salon. Abanye bete makaye ne tu sine ishasha zama penchi isi. Esi chale ngoba chale indumbulu sindumbe. But si besi ngasa zile shashe saki vale so penchi suguti sugupi. Yeah. Sometimes we take these fruits. Ushi, ushi, ushi. Maxali mbeu. Abazi, bayi omise. Besa afters. Agaz, nukuti le shasha sa le fruti suku pa mshambe si se venda. Gazet ze tu. Agaz, nukuti shalo ubani. Pati ndumbe ya konisa kube kwa kwa ketle invista. Agaz, nukuti yangu. Yes. Ile fangele sna. Ile kualiti paipe lam. Si hamba pezu wani. Wezi seke lo zaba wani. Zaba prophet, na ma pastor. Some of us we don't know the pulse of this world. Yes. Maskaza simbon paul. Sfunda kaila. God has hamba pezwani. Where's the tembis? That's the power of the fruit that has seed. There are seeds that have germinated everywhere. Some of them you may not know about them that are even giving birth even today. 
that comes from you. We are still We are still with you here. But let me tell you something. There are fruits that people are enjoying somewhere in the Lord corners of the world Jesus. that comes from you because you are a seeded fruit mm. that they took and germinated and they also paid fruits. They are still bearing fruits. That's what multiplication is about. Seven twenty. Says, therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. If you are a seeded, uh, if you are a seedless Christian, you won't see any fruits coming from you. No matter how beautiful you may be. But when you are a seeded Christian, I've written here, if we are going to continue to produce fruit and produce Christians that are seeded and influential, we have to continue to connect people to Christ Jesus. How do we make people to be seeded? It's by connecting them to this incorruptible seed. Which is Jesus. Singenza ganja nuguta bantu babe nembeu. Na pantle gogu basiba kumani se no crestu. We must create a space and a platform that will make people connect with God. Umeles kandinda wezo gwenza bantu bakumane nongulungu. It is our duty as the seeded Christians that we impart this seed to others. Whether here in the church, whether to the community, whether in our workplace, we must impart and connect people to this incorruptible seed. Because as the scripture said, they will be born again not of the corruptible seed but the incorruptible through the word of God which lives and abides forever. Glory to Jesus. In sin do so yaku forever. Again telling you. If we was in this no mungawa. Maubuya. Au sasindi iswa food. Umdua na yo laikai. Izuru liya kwa mgele. Come back home. A prodigal son story. He fell. He disappeared. When he came back, he wanted to be a servant. But his father said, no. No. When a asali wile. But when we inshali ifala. That is the power of incorruptible seed. When God made Adam and Eve, Adam no Eve. Into usatane bega imele kutienza gale pitu nkunukul no mundu kutunkunukul ambula Adam. What the enemy was waiting for was for God to kill Adam. And God says to Adam, Adam, you have fallen into sin. You deserve nothing, but I am destroying you. I am killing you. I'll make another man. If God did that, the devil would have been happy and said, of what? Of what? 
wena uyabadalu yababulali uyabona ukuthi wena unjani The devil would have been sitting in a throne of victory and say I've won Why is Otogo so satan But God realizes that even when a man can fall I will make a plan Nakuba uNkulunkulu ebona lokho wabona ukuthi nakube sewile likhona icebo The Bible says when men fallen into sin It is like God some moment ewa ewele sonwe He then rushed and went to the leaves and covered himself Wakithimela amahlamvu wayivala ngawo But leaves did not work out Kepha amahlamvu akaza ngasebenza He still felt ashamed Wase wase umuntu Covered with leaves but hiding Wazisola waba namahlone loke zembozile Khona abanye abantu abayazibona ukuthi they are naked and they are trying everything to cover their nakedness but it is not working out Sizama ngakho konke kwembozo buze bethu Kepha axis And the Bible says then when God came and said Adam where are you Adam says I'm hiding because I'm naked It was for the first Sizohla igazi lika Jesus manje It was for the first time where God shed blood. First time. First time in the book of Genesis. Ever since Adam no Eva bakhona bakaze bahlabe next akukho la sibona ukuthi bake bahlabe. Lithi Bible uNkulu Nkulu waba mboza with a skin of an animal. There was no way he could have got that skin without slaughtering the blood of that animal and take out that skin and cover them there is power in the blood that is why even saving men it had to come through the blood oh hallelujah leaves don't help you amahlavu anexis putting your hands up ngunulwin back won't help you nokuzimboza ngezandla anegukusis You need the blood to be shed so that the results of the shedding of the blood covers you. And the Bible says after Adam was covered he then came out and that's when they started to have a conversation with God. What happened? And God when he saw his incorruptible seed inside Adam and Eve he said, "Okay, I'm not going to destroy you." He said to them, You snake I will allow men Until the plan of Jesus came more than 2000 years later when he was hanging on the cross and he died for us because he's an incorruptible seed the very same seed which is Jesus Christ after he died on the cross because he's an incorruptible seed they buried him but he resurrected because he's an incorruptible seed the very same seed after a few days he then ascended to heaven because he's an incorruptible seed my bible in the book of revelations we're doing the book of revelations with our students this week it says the very same way that he went up is the same way that he will come back because he's an incorruptible seed And when he left he said I am not leaving you alone I am leaving you with the holy spirit so that the seed that is in us can continue So we must teach people how to embrace the power of the holy spirit Mele sifundisa abantu kunakekela amandla kamoyo ngcwe the power of the holy spirit i said there it is the primary source of power to us to reproduce amandla kamoyo ngcwele awumthombo kithini ukuze sande 